These days, more and more photovoltaic or solar electric modules, also called solar panels, are being made with built-in cables instead of user serviceable junction boxes. These cables are most often terminated with convenient weatherproof connectors. The most common type is what we at Alt-E call MC connectors. MC stands for the brand name Multicontact, a Swiss company specializing in precision electronics connectors. Trends in photovoltaic manufacturing and the National Electric Code have made MC connectors a very common sight. In this Alti video tip, we'll explore the three main MC connectors used in PV modules and show how they work. Currently in the U.S. market, the most common MC connector type is their model named SolarLine 1, shown in this photo and illustration. SolarLine 1 is encased in a weatherproof, rubber-like insulating sheath and provides a good, solid electrical contact for the conductors. Because solar electricity is direct current, the terminators are differentiated between male and female types, representing positive and negative terminals. The plugs are embossed with appropriate plus and minus symbols. Using MC connectors is simple. Before you begin, cover your solar modules to prevent electrical arcing. Better yet, make your connections when the sun isn't shining. To join connectors, just line them up and press them firmly together. There will be some resistance created by the ridges on the male connector. Make sure there's no visible gap where the connector sheaths butt together to assure a weathertight link. Taking them apart requires more effort. After all, these are meant to be weathertight connections. But there's no harm doing so. Just be careful not to overstress the joints where the MC connectors attach to the cables. Multicontact now also offers Solar Line 2, at least in part in response to changes in the 2008 National Electric Code, which will apply everywhere it's eventually adopted. See Section 690.33c of the Code. This mechanism offers greater connection security. It's expected that most solar modules with MC connectors will be built with these connectors in the very near future. Solar Line 2 is similar to Solar Line 1 with the addition of a tab and slot mechanism to prevent unwanted disconnection. Two tabs on the positive male connector fit into slots on the negative female connector. The link can only be broken by carefully depressing both bumps on the tabs to release their grip, then pulling the connectors apart. A further development of Solar Line 2 is the inclusion of a locking sleeve, which makes disconnecting the terminals impossible without the use of a special tool. This safety feature prevents potentially lethal electrical arcing of high voltage arrays disconnected under sunlight. It also satisfies specific requirements in NEC 690.33C. The connector is still Solar Line 2, but a locking sleeve has been added to the negative connector. Although this sleeve is available as a separate part and can be added to regular Solar Line 2 connectors, it can't be removed once in place. The male connector's tabs fit into the female slots as usual, but the sleeve prevents fingertip access to the release bumps. A special unlocking tool is needed. The small plastic tool serves other functions as well, but it has two pairs of prongs, either of which can be used as keys to unlock the connectors. Insert the prongs through the holes in the sleeve, where they'll push aside the bumps on the locking tabs, allowing release of the connection. Both pairs of prongs do the same thing. The choice of which ones to use is up to you. That's it for this Alti video tip. Visit our website to learn more about renewable energy and see a wide range of products. At the Alternative Energy Store, we're making renewable doable.